Welcome to Soccer We like it, the Man United direction. We have the Houston Red Army who are going to talk about the greatest and biggest game currently under Ole for the Europa League final on Wednesday against Villarreal. We're going to ask what the fans think, who should start, who shouldn't start, and what is Ole's plan going forward. All right, so we all know, reported in the news, Harry Maguire has had ligament damage, supposedly won't play. Now, I believe this is a tactic like most of us do, and we'll see him out there. So I think for the center backs, it's either going to be Harry Maguire and Lindelof or Baye and Lindelof. I don't feel like he trusts Juan Zebe enough yet. So I agree. So four at the back, provided by the services of McFred, who we'll all expect to see as defensive holding mids. Hopefully we get Bruno in the 10, who's you know providing the, the creative chances that he gets. Hopefully maybe a penalty if we're lucky. And then up top, you got to get your Cavani, you got to get your Rasford, you got to get your Greenwood. That's how I see it. So if this, I mean, eh, I mean, I mean, you might be able to put Pogba up there, the there but, but that's, that's a choice like, that only has to make. So we'll, we'll see when we get to it. But overall, us, us versus Villarreal, like they're a good team. You know, Emirates been to the final lots of times. We we can't just despite them and say that we're gonna win. It, it, it's gonna be a tough game. Now we get a goal early in that changes the game completely. The whole outlook of the game changes. We concede. You know, we might end up playing better because that's what we do. So, you know, it's anyone's game. Hopefully we win it. I say the result may be like a 3-1 because we ain't keeping a clean sheet. Well, I think with the team that was put out today, you know who's going to start. <laughs> <laughs> you got up 12 players now you choose. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really going to depend on who plays in the midfield and, and if McGuire's healthy. I think he's healthy enough. I think it's going to be like one of those surprises at the last minute. You think he starts? I think he starts. Honestly, I do. Um, when it comes to the midfield, uh, I, if I could get a McTominay, Bruno, Pogba midfield, I'd be happy with that. Uh, I don't think we'll see that, but we'll yeah. see. Uh, what do you see, McFred? I, I, I think it's a McFred. I'm I, not sure. And I don't want, I don't want Fred in anywhere the near. Bruno in the middle. And <laughs> I don't want Fred anywhere near the final. But that's just me. I don't, I don't dislike him. I just don't think he's if he puts Pogba on the left, puts Rashford out the team. I don't know. You gotta take Fred off or McTominay off. I think, I think what we're gonna see is we know we're gonna see the front three of Cavani. Like, there's no better. I mean, Martial's healthy. Though, there's really no better Martial's choice. Yeah, Martial's healthy. Yeah. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. But I think in midfield is where we can move stuff around. And ideally, I'd want Fernandez, Pogba, and McTominay. Uh, McTominay with the extra attacking option that if he needs to, right? But I think we're gonna see Fred because for some reason Fred plays every every big game that we play. Fred is always there. So Maybe that's, this that's fine. But I think the one surprise that Ollie can hold at this point is is Maguire, and I think that's why he's being a little candid about it. But I think I think I'm going to go with Eric. That we are going to see Maguire play, uh, but if we are, I don't think Ollie is going to advertise it. Obviously, he's not going to let the other two. Know. So uh, I I just hope that uh, in terms of like midfield, like we can hold the game at midfield. Don't let it fall back to where your CDM becomes your fifth defender. Right. And now you're just all over the place. Yeah, right. Like, don't let that happen. Play the game. Play it in their half. Don't play it in our half. Like, we keep doing these back passes and all that. And I get that. I get that sometimes we need to do that. But let's try to play the game in their half. Like, that needs to be, like, Cavani needs to score, score that early goal. And we just need to keep the pressure on. Four years ago, that's exactly what we did. We played an Ajax team that seemed better than oh, us yeah. all season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went in, we scored that first goal. They were shell shocked. Uh -huh. Mkhitaryan scores that yeah, second goal, it's game over. And that's exactly what we need to do with Villarreal. Like, if we take them lightly, that's our undoing. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know, for me personally, I think for this game, we have Unai Emery. They're going to sit back. That's how they play. So we need more creativity. I've enjoyed watching Pogba taking Rashford's spot on the left. I like the, his ability to create more things than, than Rashford does over there. So I personally think the, uh, the front three is going to be Pogba, Cavani, and he's going to he's going to start Rashford on the right. Greenwood, start the midfield. Greenwood, 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 Greenwood. Greenwood's not going to start on the right. Wait, I don't know about I've, that. I've seen it, but I've carry seen on, it. carry on. And he's going to try to bring Greenwood in. In the second half, Are you keeping him as a backup option? Then? Yeah, he's the backup. Okay. He's the guy that comes in to, to, well, we to change the game. The you know, you need somebody off the bench. Yeah, as far as the midfield, you you already know the game. Big Fred <laughs> is going to be playing. Big Fred is going to be playing. 
with or without Maguire because like either Maguire, um, he might not be match fit because you know because of his ligament injury. So Ole needs that security. So he's gonna bring McFred in there, and uh, you know he got the regular Juan Bissaka, but I think we'll pull it off definitely. Ah, I, 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 I don't even feel comfortable War saying line. it. So yeah. line. Three one. Same thing. Uh, we'll come to the predictions after. I think uh, Maguire don't play on Wednesday. He's gonna be Bayi and Lindelof. Bayi and Lindelof. And okay. Instead of playing uh, Fred, I have kind of feel like he's gonna need some height to do with the Villarreal. So he's gonna play Matic instead of Fred. Which should be a better so option. Be Matic and uh, uh, McTominay in there. Matic and McTominay. Yeah, Matic and McTominay. That's how I see it. And then we're gonna be Pogba on the left uh, and uh, uh, Rashford on the right and Cavani up front. No, I'm kind of with them. I, I, I think the, the whole Maguire thing to me reeks a little bit of just gamesmanship. Uh, right. Not. So I, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if we go and look at the lineup and he's in there. Um, so aside from that, I also think when Fred is there just because he just <laughs> always has a habit. So. Standard. That's, that's gotta all I can say. Well, that's yeah, job security right now. Uh, <laughs> and you need that. Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything kind of different than they said. Obviously, I don't want Macfred to start. That's what Ole is going to do, obviously. Yeah. And all this Maguire thing, I think I'm kind of like, I was a little skeptical before that whether Maguire is going to start. But now the way things like, maybe it's kind of like part of the tactics, Ole is playing, you know, maybe at the end. Mind it's games. Maybe uh, it's not. But at the end, again, we have to score fast. Okay? We can't just do the same shit of just getting go back and then come back, you know, like, we have to score first. We need the first, in the final game. We're gonna score first, we're gonna end the game in the first half, and then we have to move uh, on. So, okay. okay, so there are two teams that, that I think Ole could play. I'm not too sure, but um, I think Maguire will play. I, the reason why I think Maguire will play is because this is the final. Uh, I think Ole's gonna rush Maguire to play. I think the club gonna shoot Maguire up, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> shoot! <laughs> I, I think because the reason why is because I don't see Ole playing by on Sunday and, and Wednesday. And I don't see Ole trusting on CB in the final. No, Lindelof is definitely gonna play. So because he won't play by two games in a row, he won't trust on CB in the final. That's why I think Lindelof and Maguire. Maguire will play. Lindelof and Maguire. You make a point. Aaron Wan Bissaka. So now in the midfield, that's where it gets a little tricky. He always played, played Fred McTominay. He, he could go with Fred McTominay. I know Fred will surely play. Now, he, he, it's either he plays McTominay next to Fred or he plays Pogba next to Fred. If he plays Pogba next to Fred, it'll be Radford, uh, um, Greenwood, and Cavani up top with Bruno on the 10. If he plays McFred, it'll be uh, um, Pogba, Greenwood, Cavani up top, and then Bruno on the 10. Now, if we go with McFred, I think we don't have much if, if creativity. We, if we go, if so, against against Villarreal, we need more creativity. I watched the game against Real Madrid. They sit back tight, they're compact, they defend well. The center backs read the game very well. They're a tough team to break down. And um, United Emery has won this 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 trophy so many times in a row, so he's experienced. So Ole has to be tactically like. He has to be tactically, tactically spot on to win this game. We can win the game, as a chance we can win the game, but I'm a little fearful of the midfield. What I saw against Real Madrid and Villarreal didn't play the full strength team. So I'm not too sure. The team I will go with is what I said back for. I will go Fred, Pogba in the middle, is in uh, um, Radford, Greenwood, Cavani up top, and Bruno on the 10. That's what I will go with. Let's see what happens. Next to Bims. <laughs> 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 I mean, Bims already. Who's uh, that goal? No, I don't mean, I mean, uh, go. The hands and goal. The hands and goal. Okay. I mean, the hands and goal. Now, but just to quickly just underscore what everybody is just saying. Let's, let's talk. I mean, Fred, real quickly, you know, we have to kind of go back to what he's been supporting us and to this time. So I think he'll be put in to redeem us. But again, what everybody's saying here is just for years, as day we're gonna win on that day, and that's that's what we're gonna do. Right. We're gonna go into the predicted score. Say it as you feel it. Just say how you feel it. If you think they're gonna win, lose, draw, just say. Final score Wednesday. Three one. United. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, I think it's gonna be a tight game, only because we're not gonna we're not gonna take them lightly. I, I don't think we should. And Unai Emery is a really good tactician. He really, really yeah, is. cup games especially. He knows, he knows how to how to shut teams down from like taking shots. We're gonna have to make the shots that we do have. We're gonna have to make them count. I, th I think I think a two one is a fair score to United. Okay. Right, well, with this possibly being De Gea's last game, I'm predicting a clean sheet for the first time in a very long Whoa. time. With oh. So I'm gonna say two nil, just like last time. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a tight game. You know, I I just, I just hope we score first, and then that'll you know set the pace for the rest of the game, and we can keep the ball, retain possession, and hopefully see how to win. So, I mean, I like the hey, I know he's going to start, but I don't give us a clean sheet just because, you know, we haven't been one of those teams to hold teams just off and do. Just uh, four goals. Like, so, I, I say it's about a 2-1, 3-1 to United. 2-0. 2-0. Oh, two, what did you say? 2-0. Okay. Now, <laughs> 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 People are getting up. <laughs> let, let, let's hear him. Let's hear him. Bams, Bams, let's hear Bams. Go on. Let me just be clear. I want United to win. I want to anywhere. United. I want United to win. But I'm cheerful. I'm not confident that we will win that game. We will definitely concede. That is for sure. We will definitely concede. We're not keeping a clean sheet against Villarreal. I think. My mind tells me 2-1 to so Villarreal. My heart wants us to win. I'm just being, I'm just being honest. Hey, I'm it is your opinion, honest. right? <laughs> Sammy, Sammy. All right, since he kind of dumped in the spirit, so maybe. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, obviously you're gonna concede a goal. I hope you won't concede first and come back. That way, I want that we score first. We'll definitely win the game, and this will be a different United score. We will see in the final for sure. Given that 2017, the way we came up and literally, uh, can to say that uh, at that time, actually, uh, Paris was a favorite in the 2017 final. We didn't put them wrong. So the same thing we're gonna do, but this time we are also favorite because we are always not a favorite. Even if they actually fought, uh, they played against well against Real Madrid, but I think we are gonna win the game two one, and I think we're gonna score first. And I'm pretty sure either Cavani or Bruno Fernandes will be gonna have it. Yeah, no, I mean again, like everyone said, solid team, especially solid manager, um, and given our performance throughout this season. I see us conceding first, possibly bringing it back, making another stupid mistake, conceding again, and then bringing it back. And then I see it probably going to overtime, and then maybe Cavani coming in and getting getting the final goal to push it. So you're looking 3 so 2 ish? I, I think 3 2 in, in, in overtime, right? I'm, 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 seeing I'm seeing a different day. I'm seeing a different day. I'm seeing a 1 0. And I have a feeling a defender gonna be the one who's gonna score that goal. And I'm going to look short through the game. A man of the match gonna be the hair. All right. Well, you have heard the predictions. From soccer uh, Houston Red Army, they've told you how they feel against the game on Wednesday against Villarreal, a very good Spanish team. This is United's best chance of a trophy under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the fifth attempt to get a trophy. Can United do it? Houston Red Army, most of them said they can do it. Glory, glory. Amen.